Good morning and welcome to our Take 5. I just want to take a moment and uh, tell you that I hope everyone had a marvelous 4th of July yesterday as you celebrated the birth of our nation. It was so good for us to be back in church and to preach on freedom and the many freedoms that we have in Christ. This is the purpose for what we do is that we want to be anchored in God's Word. So if you were with us last week, you know that we are kind of doing a three, four week run through Ezekiel 37 in what is known as the Valley of Dry Bones. And so last week we know that the prophet was taken and then he was taken back and forth across the valley. And we said last week that it, the purpose of this was for him to be exposed to the volume and the, and the number of dry bones that existed all around him, not just to place him and from a distance allow him to have sympathy but to let him walk among it and feel the personal responsibility. So that's kind of where we find ourselves this uh, morning as we pick up the passage in Ezekiel 37, beginning in verse 4. Then he said to me, prophesy to these bones and say to them, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. This is what the sovereign Lord says to these bones. I will make breath enter you and you will come to life and I will attach tendons to you and make flesh come upon you and cover you with skin. I will put breath in you and you will come to life. Then you will know that I am the Lord. Part of what I think we need to hear in this passage is God's emphasis upon hearing. We know in the creation story in Genesis chapter 1 that God speaks creation into being. So when God speaks, there is a response, right? A powerful response. And so we know through the work of Jesus Christ that God comes to bring dead things to life. That was the purpose of sending his son uh, John 3.16 says that he has come so that none would perish. So we see in this passage, this comment made that says, hear the word of the Lord. So anytime I think about that, I think about John chapter 1, where it tells us, in the beginning was the word, and the word was God, and the word was with God. And there was never a time that the word was apart from God. And so this word, this concept of the spoken word, is so critical to this passage. Life does not happen without God speaking into our lives. Life as we know it, life as we hope it will be, does not happen apart from the spoken word. And so he says to the prophet, he says, listen, speak to these dry bones. In other words, he says, you know, we want you to listen. So how often are we caught in this place where we are forever hearing, but are we really listening? I mean, husbands and wives, I mean, it's the old joke that, you know, selective deafness and all of that, you know, that, you know, that you just don't hear everything your wife says or everything your husband says because you just have displaced it. But part of what we need to understand is when the Lord speaks, your response is to listen. It makes me wonder how intently are we listening for the word of God every day. Part of the purpose of us doing this every week is so what? You can immerse yourself in the word of God, that you can hear God speak into your life, your specific circumstances, that all of us can hear one verse, but each of us can receive it differently as we hear it from the Lord specifically for this season that we're in. So God says to the prophet, listen, I want you to speak and into these dry bones to tell them that I'm going to breathe life into them, that I am going to knit them together. And I think church for us to understand the power of God's word, it is the power to build life. It is the power to restore uh, things that are broken and wounded and hurt. So when we see this passage, we want to understand it from the concept of being able to not just hear, but to listen intently with hearts that understand what God is trying to say to us. So it all, all begins with God speaking us listening, and then us responding, right? So the way that we get to respond to the spoken word of God is God puts flesh on us. God gives us purpose. God gives us power and authority. And, and the, all of it begins, all of it begins with the spoken word of God. So as you begin your week this week, I pray that this second piece of Ezekiel 37 helps you understand that God is speaking to you and we should be taking some time to listen for him because there's never a time that he does not want to have our attention and command us in the ways we should go. I love you, church. I pray that you are healthy. Again, we are coming out of this COVID time, and I'm just so grateful uh, to the support and the love of our church. 
uh, as we move together as one body uh, to be there for our community. I love you and have a great week.